I have a great history with Nikkei. This is a game that I genuinely enjoyed streaming for about three weeks. It has absolutely incredible quality waifus, it has great quality voice acting, it has an actual interesting, engaging story. That's the global version of Nikkei. Recently, however, there was an incident involving the Thai version. This is something that I'm sure some of you are aware of, but the majority aren't. This is the third time I've attempted to get this video published. It has been copyright claimed, it has been marked as not advertiser friendly, yet I still feel like it needs to be covered. And I plan on continuing to attempt to do so until I can successfully publish it and hopefully keep the video up long enough for as many of you as possible to see. Before we jump into this video though, I do want to take a moment here to thank all of our incredible patrons over on Patreon. Your support is absolutely incredible and I cannot thank you all enough for being a part of this journey. Also, if you have a moment, consider following me over on Twitch. I stream gacha games here every weekend. So, for those of you that weren't aware, the, uh, the Thai version of Nikkei actually had a live action trailer released for their game. This is a live action trailer that has caused an infinite amount of controversy online. So much so, in fact, that the Thai publisher issued a formal apology. This is after <laughs> this is after players uh, expressed their discontent with the Thai version with a trailer that essentially stereotyped the Nikkei players and maybe gacha gamers overall as being some disgusting, filthy degenerate. What? <laughs> you know, which in retrospect is not really far from the truth for a lot of us. Now, the first video I tried was removed. The second video I tried was removed. Thankfully, Asmongold actually has his reaction to the video up. I don't know if he got hit with a strike. I don't know if it got age restricted, but there was a version of this released onto Twitter. And that is what we are going to take a look at right now. Now I will, I'm going to go ahead here and, uh, <laughs> what? เล่นเกมอะไรอ่ะเด้งแบบนั้นเนี่ยนะเกมนี้เก๋ไงไม่รู้จักเหรอไปไหนก็ไปเลยไปคนจะเล่นเกมแฮปปี้เบิร์ด
At the same time, I also can't link to this trailer because that gets the video marked as not safe for advertisers either. Now, they did apologize for this and we're gonna go ahead and translate this using Google Translate so it will be a rough translation. Sorry for the online advertisement incident on January 11th. Dear all commanders, from the fact that the team published a new online advertisement on January 11th on the social media channels of the game in the Thai region, which after the team had published such advertisements, we had received comments from some players that suggest inappropriate content and style of presentation within such advertisements. The team must apologize and apologize for any content and style of presentation in this ad. That results in players being extremely uncomfortable or dissatisfied. For this error, the team has been informed of the lack of prudence in the terms of, and I'm assuming here it's gonna say the terms of service, consider the presentation of the content in the ad and it has been published without exhaustion. The team has already removed and suspended the distribution of such advertisements from the official social media channels of the Thai region in all channels of the game. The team would like to thank you all for the comments from all players. The team will take comments and suggestions from players to improve and develop content, the form of advertising and promoting the game to be better in the future, including careful and thorough refrain from presenting more sensitive content in various fields. So essentially what they said was, a lot of people complained. We heard this complaint and we had the Thai version, the Thai studio remove all instances of this trailer from social media. There are no instances of this available online anymore, except for Asmongold's reaction and a tweet. And maybe this video, if it somehow manages to stay online, which again, this is, this is that there have been, oh God, Ugh. wow, <clears throat> well, that was awkward. There have been countless attempts to get this posted on this channel, and I'm hoping this is the one that actually succeeds. I I love Nike. I do. It is a really fun game. They might have had their issues, but I still think it's a fun game. But trying to silence creators, trying to silence the community when they themselves are at fault is not how you handle this. You gave your apology. I'm sure it was accepted. Now you just deal with the repercussions of your actions. We make mistakes. Sometimes we do stupid stuff. We just have to learn from it in the future. I just hope that you guys do in fact learn from this because that trailer, while admittedly absolutely hilarious, like I, I actually thought the trailer was really funny and really well done, was at the same time done in somewhat poor taste. And social media, Reddit, Twitter, everywhere is mocking you. They are making a meme of you due to how you handled it. Not only the trailer, not only the advertisement itself, but also how poorly you were handling this. Now, if Nikkei isn't your thing, no problem. I got two different videos on screen right now that are definitely going to be of interest to you. One featuring an alternate gacha game that just released and I am having a lot of fun playing. The other featuring a list of every confirmed gacha game releasing this month in the month of January, 2023.